Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Baylor. Let's get this out of the way first. Nano machines. Nano machine. Nano machine. Nano machine. Nano machine. Nano machines. Right. Nano machine, son. Baylor is just a cloud of nano machine masquerading as a mech, constantly regenerating and hurting everyone it hugs. This gets even worse when it activates core power because it's going to hurt even more and become even more undying if that's possible, but this comes at a cost. While Baylor's evasion is low, it doesn't really care because its health is effectively infinite but it has a terrible heat cap which is alarming despite its good e-defense because its regeneration shuts down if you take stress or structure damage, and guess which one is more likely with 4 base heat cap? Its sensor range is also very short even though it can hack well as a Horus frame, and it's also very slow. Baylor definitely needs a bit of help getting somewhere, but not only is it damn near invulnerable, it comes with an utility of not requiring any repair spent on patching your health at all, so all your repairs can be spent on other things instead. Now, let's move on to the builds, and in the following builds, you will frequently see two systems, Swarm Body, to gradually turn the Baylor into a living blender, 9 damage is nothing to laugh at, and Nano Comp, because making anything to have smart and seeking tag can get absolutely ridiculous. The rest of Baylor license, isn't that popular it seems, but they still have their uses that I will explain later. In the following 40 Baylor builds, you will see an incredible amount of striker builds, mixed with controller and defender role because it turns out when you are fucking invincible it's much better for your mech to stand at the front taking all the hits and a lot of builds built around this strategy because that's what Baylor really good at. There is some artillery and other builds, but they are very rare. Anyway, let's start off with the striker controller builds, because mixing brute force with a little control feels so good, and also because there's 24 of them. This is hyper aggressive recycling bin a very standard Baylor that like to set up in front of its allies, activate swarm body and forge clamp to prevent it from being moved, and then just pull enemies in with nanobot whip or ferris lash to tear them apart. And if its allies can help it get going faster because it only has speed 3, that's even better. On top of that, it has scanner swarm and lesson of thinking tomorrow's thought combo to make both tech and melee attack very devastating. Viral logic keeps people from running effectively and Hacker 2 let you do terrible things like completely shutting down enemy tech attacker so you could eat them alive. And also, swarm hive nonites, because sometimes you just need to burn something through any cover or obstacles. There's also like a ridiculous number of Baylor builds in this video with swarm body, because it's just so good. This one is called friend accumulator, which didn't just have swarm body but also fomorian frame to get even bigger and harder to move along with Impaler, Charged Stake, and Web Jaw to prevent people from moving, and Caltrip to give pain to any that does so. Also a brief reminder that despite being a living blender, Baylor is very allies friendly, so using its massive size to grapple people to carry them work, if needed, because most Baylor builds are very slow. This is another scanner swarm and lesson of TTT combo build with nanobot whip swarm body combo too, packing interdiction field, viral logic, and even exemplar to prevent people from running away. Other than Nanobot Whip, there's also another way to pull in more enemies, Magnetic Cannon, from Line 10 even, this Baylor even has Neurospike and Flicker Field to make it even more durable by the fact that nothing could hit it well with invisibility, and also a Hive Drone for easy source of cover and pain. This is a Fire That Hates, a Baylor that packs Nano Comp Plasma Thrower, making this thing a Plasma Thrower capable of shooting through any cover, which sounds like the most terrifying thing ever. And if things get too hot, it has Agni and Fuel Rod Gun to cool down rapidly, which Explosive Vent take advantage of, along with Havoc Charges which have some of the safer mine mode to use against enemies even at point blank range. This is no more Aura, it's time to pierce the heavens, a Baylor with Nano Comp Combat Drill, which Seeking didn't give much benefit of, but a smart drill is very dangerous to anything dependent on evasion. It even has Accelerate to get itself and its allies faster and charged stake so its prey can run away from the drilling. It's not even the only combat drill Baylor either, this one packing the rest of Vlad's toolkit, Mesmer charges, and Gaiji's frame to reach further and immobilize more people. And of course, where there's combat drill, there will be DD-288 builds, this is Cold Iron Yaogwai, a DD-288 Fomorian Swarm Body Baylor, with Beckoner to pull people together, 
and total strength sweet too along with brawler to grapple people and punch them harder with tss3 to send them flying like a bowling ball with a chance to stun if you didn't send them flying with a fist already it should not be a surprise that there's also nano comp dd288 baylor build 2 this is senator armstrong because of course besides a very smart fist and tied nomichi to work together with total strength sweet and ferris lash again to pull people towards itself to get blended a giant fist just solves so many problems. And there's, funny enough, too many DD288 Baylor, so I'm moving on to the Annihilation Nexus Baylor instead for even more blender action. This is Eye of the Storm, a Baylor with triple hive drones that can act as conduit for Annihilation Nexus to spring up. While Baylor only has 5 sensor range, with Drone Commander and Puppet Master, these hive drones can surround the Baylor and its allies easily, forming a perimeter and cut everything close apart with Annihilation Nexus, which with senti main can get even more painful. This baler even has Horo S1 in case someone needs a moving or jamming, and guess what, this baler can even hide well with infiltrator within the hive drone and let its visible drones do all the dirty work instead. This instead uses a single tempest drone, that can carve enemy up before sending them flying, and a Fomorian baler again because annihilation nexus is a burst and that get bigger the bigger its firing point is, and a size 3 burst 2 can cover a lot of ground. This build also has Mag Cannon and Ferris Lash again to pull victims in with open door to increase the success rate, and stable structure which, well, works a lot less often than I would like. But enough about super heavy weapons, let's talk about something else. This is Event Horizon, a swarm body bailer that pulls people in with nano comp crack shot warp rifle from halfway across the map to slice them apart, packing accelerate to move itself and its allies faster, and wandering nightmare to make its victim slower and unable to react. Also, a flamethrower. Another warp rifle bailer interestingly, now with exemplar to truly prevent enemy from escaping, and also blink charges and final secret so it could teleport people in and out, or get out of risky situation itself by taking hits it can easily regenerate from. And when flamethrower seems too mundane, how about a nano comp nuclear cavalier arc projector, this is the lord of lightning versus balrog, capable of shooting smart lightning across multiple foes, which with beckon, is quite easy to do. It can even zap everyone nearby with lightning generator and smite to stun anyone it doesn't like very much. Funny enough, this thing has lesson of transubstantiation in case it takes structure damage, which for a bailer is going to be very hard to happen, but sometimes you might need it. Now this one is very interesting, this is angry beehive with a sword, that is also bees, a bailer packing a very dangerous nano comp nano carbon sword, and also a nano comp black spot targeting laser, which can combo into the integrated light nexus that can benefit from black spot for more accuracy and lock on, which lets it trigger senti main too frequently and shreds the target along with all other senti main effects, now that's just painful. And by applying hive drone on omnibus plate, this enlarge hive drone effect to burst 3, which is rather ridiculous. And that's generally is how striker controller baler is like, with its very short sensor range and 6 system points anything dependent on sensor range is suffering from its shortness. But Baylor's traits and tech attack bonus allow it to handle the punishment of close quarter combat and still let it hit back hard with attack and effect. But, let's actually check out what Baylor is really good at, as striker defender. Ok but honestly every single Baylor builds probably count as a defender too because as long as Baylor stands somewhere where it's drawing the enemy's attention, it's working as a defender. The only issue is that Baylor doesn't have guardian trait to give allies hard cover, but then again maybe that's why Baylor has hive drone as a part of its license. This is Snuffles, it's a heavy gunner Baylor with nano comp heavy machine gun, now that's a fucking nightmare. If it takes too big of a hit, it has reactive weave to get out of the dodge and also active camo to turn invisible, which with Kai bioplating and infiltrator, let this bailer hides very well and still protect its ally well with Argonaut shield and bonded as an invisible guardian of nightmare fuel, truly a friend to all children. This is shrapnel entity, a DSAS and nano comp daisy cutter packing bailer that can jump over obstacle with ace 2 for way more mobility than a normal bailer could, 1d6 additional space along with 3 speed is very impressive for a slow mech. And when it needs to tank a lot of damage, hyperdense armor will do just fine, as long as you haven't activate core power yet. This is Veiled and Wrathful Seer, a bailer with hard light defense system, which when activated, force enemy to move into the shield and get burned to attack you, unless they have blast weapon, and then you can just pull them in with nanobot whip and just blend them into paste. They also can't get out because of exemplar, 
and this thing also has stasis bolt to shoot down enemy ranged attack if needed. I still find it very funny that thanks to Baylor synergy with Swarm Body, people will actually use Exemplar properly now to prevent Hostile from running. I guess it takes a nano machine monstrosity for players to learn the meaning of honorable combat. You are going to Brazil takes the approach a bit differently instead, because good luck running out of blink shield, and with heat fall, this Baylor can do a lot of damage very quickly. Stasis barrier also helps a lot in taking damage when you find no need for blink shield. And finally, there's Slime Girl GF, which has Heavy Gunner Nano Comp HMG to immobilize everything, along with Vorpal Gun and Scylla to shoot back at anyone that tried to hurt your friends. This build also has Argonaut Shield to just block damage for your ally directly, and Black Thumb Technophile combo to patch your allies up. And that's all on Striker Defender Baylor builds, it's just absurdly easy for Baylor to take a ridiculous amount of damage for their allies. But now, let's take Controller and Defender away, and talk about the pure striker instead. Now I know every Baylor build probably qualifies as Defender build too because of its ability to take all the damage, but just for easier categorization sake, let's put that aside temporarily. This is Menacer, aside from its nanobot whip to pull people in again, this Baylor has a nano comp croil rifle which plays a role in its mobility. With combined arms, this Baylor can combo nanobot whip and croil rifle together for constant accuracy, and with croil rifle, if its prey decided to run, it can boost, which with integrated nerve weave, increase its boost to 6 speed, this also triggers flicker field and turn it invisible. And with open door to make it easier for the enemy to trip onto the floor, this makes the next murder by Baylor very easy. This is lesson of the angry weep, a flying Baylor with Terashima blade, of course it has ace to make it fly even faster, which with 5 speed, make this Baylor extremely fast. I'm actually surprised how few Baylor build has ace to make this thing move faster, but having an ally or 2 to 8 in mobility also works too. As if that's not terrifying enough, this Baylor has Jaeger Kuz too, so not only it can become one with anime, if any enemy attacks them in melee, they are forced into an anime battle that only one side can afford to take damage. This is Hunter's Mark, a Baylor with a giant shotgun for big damage and nano comp croil rifle again to pull itself straight to a fleeing target, which can combo with rapid maneuver jet and ace to fly over obstacle and gain 3 over shield, meaning this Baylor is even harder to take down with all the over shield in the world. And finally, this is when in doubt, a Baylor with Titanomachi, Dualist, and Synthetic Muscle netting to brawl against anything, and Seekomet. I have seen Seekomet perform at optimum environment, it scares me and this Baylor scares me too. And that's all the pure striker Baylor builds, which can also double as defender Baylor 2 in a way by attracting all the attentions and taking all the damage, if the enemies aren't dead already. Now, let's get in the stranger part of Baylor builds, because it's time to talk about artillery Baylor builds. This is Mother's Nest, a Nexus spam Baylor with loads of drones to form a protective perimeter around it. Senti Main brings a lot of pain on the enemies yet again, and Gast Nexus, even with Baylor sensor range, can still reach quite far and poke people. And with open door, both the drone and nexus can get quite painful too. This is all reaching rays, a baler made to set down at a safe location with auto loader drone, and then just keep blasting with its nano comp anti-material rifle. With forge clamp, nothing can move it, and if anything gets too close, just pull them in with ferris lash and hug them to death. This is burba burr, burr, burr don't ask me about the name, this baler packs a nano comp tachyon lance, now this is truly an outrageous example of nano comp, and it's going to hit ridiculously hard against anything. If things get too hot or you need health right now, this build has redundant systems upgrade for quick stabilize, which with grease monkey makes the stabilize even more effective, and of course, argonaut shield and hive drone to protect its allies. And finally, there's Bibiathan, lord of the bees, it's a bailer that has a nano comp leviathan heavy assault cannon, and also a backup prototype gun, now this is just brutal. This Baylor can also construct a bunker to keep everyone safe, or just climb straight up a wall and use tracking bug to hunt down hidden or invisible target. And that's it for artillery Baylor builds, taking full advantage of the fact that Baylor is so hard to kill, with more distance, they can get even harder to kill. For the final build, Baylor is a size 2 mech, so obviously, someone is going to make a mule harness battle taxi Baylor. This is Ride the Fire, a support defender Baylor made to carry allies and protect them with Argonaut Shield and Stasis Bolt, while also aiding them with Bonded and Spotter. With Fomorion Frame, this Baylor can carry the whole party and increase Swarm Body Effect Area too. 
and with heavy gunner HMG, a lot of enemies are going to get immobilized. And that's truly, all 40 of Baylor submissions finished. Big shout out to all my viewers that have submitted their submissions to this episode, I'm actually surprised how many Baylor submissions I have received that I have to cut some out to keep the number at 40, I guess Baylor wasn't as unpopular as I thought. Anyway, here's the next topic, I'm kinda afraid of what I might witness. That's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.